Good morning, friends. We are here for day two to talk about our gut biome. Mm -hmm. And today we're um, talking about Mark Hyman's Biome Builders. So gut healing foods and good bugs love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, you know, we, we always think of, well, I don't think we always do, but for a long time, I thought of like bugs in my gut as being a bad thing. And really there are, I forget how many hundreds of thousands of millions of bugs that are um, in our system and, and they all play a part and many of them are really good and, and we need that good, those good bugs in there. So, um, la, la, la. Um, he just talks about how the immune system keeps um, us healthy and functioning and they protect us from infections and remove toxins and help us synthesize the essential vitamins. So that's what I was saying yesterday. When our when our gut biome is not working optimally, um, we don't necessarily synthesize those in a way that the body's the body can use it. So anyway, some things that he says to promote healthy or good gut bacteria. Um, aim for fiber, at least 25 grams from your organic vegetables, not processed grains. So I think that's the other thing. You know, we, we hear about grain fiber and we, I did for a long time, thought about grains as opposed to the vegetables. So he's just saying, you know, try to get that from your veggies as much as possible. Um, as far as veggies, eat an abundance of polyphenol rich veggies which are usually your uh, leafy greens things like that try to eat organic whenever possible we know that's not always possible uh, prebiotics in foods are like jerusalem artichoke garlic onions leeks dandelion greens jicama chicory root and asparagus and probiotic foods are sauerkraut, kimchi, pickles, fermented soy, unsweetened yogurt, or kefir, miso, and natto. Some of those I've never had. And bone broth. I think, Deb, you've, you've had bone broth already. Um, so I'm just going to end here that he says, you know, your gut is the gateway to your health span and longevity. So even if you have the perfect diet and exercise routine, your overall health will suffer if your gut health is poor. So that's kind of what Deb and I were talking about yesterday. So it's just such an important thing. You know, and I'm trying to think of what I just heard and I, <clears throat> I don't know if it was him or somebody else, but if we even just cut out foods like our prepackaged, we've talked about that or, um, but anything that has high fructose syrup and there was something else. What's the other thing? Oh, the trans fats. trans fats. But whoever was talking said our trans fats have been taken out a lot. Like we know that and then they're, ta they're often taken out now, mm -hmm. but our high fructose syrup is just in everything. And so the more we can focus on whole foods and the better off we are. So I thought that was interesting because, you know, there's so much information that sometimes we're like, oh. but he tried to simplify it and said, look, folks, if you just cut out that, yeah. I think it was Dr. Heim, but I can't remember. But he literally will go into the supermarket and he knows so much that he's like, oh, that's going to, it's his medicine cabinet yeah. for some vegetables. So, yeah. oh, that has this. So that's good for, you know, he knows so much. But yeah, if we just even stick to whole foods and yeah. mostly vegetables. Yeah. Fruits are good, but he said that has, that is sugar. It's natural sugar, but it's, you know, we just have to know that. Well, and you so, just have to watch how much you're having. Your veggies, you kind of can't overeat, but but the fruits, we can. We can get too much fruit. And then making sure that um, that we have enough lean protein, because that's the other thing that we, you know, our bodies need protein. Every cell in our body needs protein to to stay healthy and, and to mm -hmm. function. So those are the three main things. And if we can just, I mean, that's simple. It's not always easy. <laughs> We're not saying it's easy. But if you look yeah. at it that way, at least it simplifies it because then you don't have to worry about this packaged food that says it's healthy or that they fortified it with X, Y, Z, A, B, C. You know, if we're getting it from our natural sources of that, then we don't have to really think about what that is in the packaged food. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And he was, whoever this was, was saying too, that we've given carbohydrates such a bad name and carbs are like your best food because they're your fruits and vegetables. And we think of them as breads and all kinds of things. And actually the top of his pyramid, he had dark chocolate. Yeah. And the person interviewing him was like, oh, yeah, he said, yeah, it's got so much good stuff. So, I mean, we don't have to deprive ourselves or think we can't, but we'll just be aware of what we're doing. And color, I I forget about colors. So I eat a lot of like spinach and arugula, which is great, but maybe our peppers, our green, yellow, orange, red peppers, you know, and yogurt's an easy one. I eat just plain Greek yogurt. It took me a little bit to get used to it, honestly, but they have vanilla too, if you don't. No I don't sugar mind. added, no. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't mind the yogurt if I put, like, um, I usually have frozen fruit and even a handful of nuts. A lot of times yeah. that's my breakfast. Like, I'll just throw the fruit and the, and the nuts in there. I don't do as much fresh fruit when it comes to, like, the berries and things like that. I find they go to, they spoil faster than I can eat them. But um, but the frozen fruit, I've, I've read over and over again that, you know, if you're getting it, that it's, you know, not in the syrup and all that kind of stuff but just frozen fruit right from when it was picked that it's it's just as good for us so yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right everybody have a great day we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.